Hey, what's up guys? It's Cliff with Pink Flamingo Power Wash. I'm back with a brand new video for you guys today working in Lutz, Florida. We're gonna be doing a paver ceiling job for a small patio. I got this customer here from YouTube while he was <laughs> searching to see how to clean his pool cage, which he damaged a bunch of the screens. Uh, got his hands all torn up because of the hot mix he was using. So he stumbled on my videos after the fact. So uh, he actually manages a recycling company. And um, you know, he just liked the type of work I do. And um, you know, maybe we can work with each other in the future. So we're gonna prep his patio. The pool pavers are still good, they don't need to be touched. Uh, the cage looks good, the house looks good. I'm probably gonna do the house maybe later later in the year or before the new year. Uh, so today, but we're just here to prep these pavers and get them sealed. Then I got a two pavers today I have to do, prepping. I'm gonna come back and seal them. It's gonna rain in this afternoon, so I'm gonna come back in the morning to seal both of those. Um, sorry about the plane. And we may do a third job today. So uh, we got the rig back, as you guys can see. Everything is working good. Let me go show you guys the patio. But if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like, leave a comment. If you got any questions, make sure you hit the bell so you know when I put up a new video. So let's go in the back and show you the, uh, the patio. All right, so this is the back. Pretty nice view. This is the patio we're gonna be sealing. These were installed but never sealed. So all the sand is gone. I mean, they're completely empty. You can see big gaps. So we're gonna clean these up and uh, apply some sealer. You guys can see the difference between those in there and these ones out here. Not the same shine, not the same color. Those still look good. The coping needs to be done. You can see the coping is um, weathering away. So whenever that's ready to go, he's gonna have me come back and do those in there. But I told him they don't need to touch that. Still good, but we'll do these ones today. So we're gonna apply some uh, sodium hypochlorite, chlorine down, and uh, clean everything out. Make sure the joints are nice and cleaned out for the fresh sand. All right, let's get it. All right, pretty quick and simple. Added uh, sodium hypochlorite down. Now I'm just going to let it sit, get in the joints, and uh, kill some of the algae. I'm going to follow it up with a rinse with the turbo nozzle just to make sure everything comes out of the joints. So now they're like fresh, ready for sand. All right, let me get my turbo nozzle. Everything is cleaned off now. Just gotta let it dry. I could have set uh, wet sand these uh, these papers today, uh, but we got afternoon showers coming today, so I didn't want the sand to come out of the joints. So therefore, we're just gonna let that just dry up today and come back tomorrow and do the sand and seal. So we're gonna go up to uh, Tarpon Springs. Actually, sorry, we're going to Farm Harbor to uh, do another prep, but that one I have to strip. So. You guys never see me strip pavers, so therefore, it's gonna be your first time seeing me. All right, you guys, we're at the second job for the day. We're gonna strip these pavers. Um, they were sealed about a year ago, but the customer is not really a, uh, liking the result. I just sealed the inside here. Uh, if you guys saw the video, man, they look amazing. Let me show you guys what they look like before I show you out here. So these were the pavers I sealed. 
before. I mean, you can see the shine on these babies. Look at that. Look at that. So they love the result. And here I use the polymeric sand. Wow, these things are popping. So they want, <laughs> they want me to come back and see the uh, outside now. So this is the pavers out here. See these ones don't got no shine. I'm not sure what's all on these pavers here. Let's see all that stuff comes up. I know the drainage runs out here, so this part may be stained. I'm not sure what that is. We'll address that. But these pavers here are gonna be stripped. So they do have sealer on them. I can see a little shine, but it's not like the one in there. Of course, out here is gonna look more dull because exposed to the elements and the sun. But everything's gonna get done equally. I will be using stripper cast, which is the blue bucket from um, Deco Products to strip these pavers right here, stripper cast. So to apply, I'm gonna use my um, 4K bucket sprayer. I'm gonna do it in two sections. So I'm gonna spray the outside section first out here. You don't want this stuff to dry up all the way also. Uh, if it starts to dry up, just spray it a little bit more and maybe it's missed a little bit of water on top of it. Got my hose out here just in case, if I need it. So spray some water on there. Um, like I said, we're gonna apply it. We're gonna let it sit for 10 minutes and uh, it should start reacting. And uh, we're gonna do a little test spot to see if the sealer is actually lifting up. If it's not ready to go, we might mist it a little bit more with some more product and give it another 20 minutes to dwell. So I'm gonna split it in two sections. I'm gonna spray this section, let it sit for 10 minutes, do my test. If it's not ready, spray it again, give it 20 minutes. And then um, after that, I'm gonna spray this area because the water is gonna run downhill. You don't wanna do this section first <laughs> and then um, get it, you know what I'm saying, this area dirty. So I'm gonna do this section first, split it in half and do this section afterwards. All right guys, so let's follow along. So we just got done spraying the stripper on the pavers. We're gonna give it the 10 minute dwell time to break it down. Uh, it's 12.33 right now. So it's 12.33. So about 12.43, we'll see what it looks like. Uh, you can use a turbo nozzle to remove it, to strip it, or you can use your surface cleaner, whichever you prefer. I'll probably use a turbo nozzle, it's a small area, and make it quicker. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, taking a little recap. So far it is 12.39, and it's starting to dry up a little bit, so I'm gonna put in a little bit more product. So we're gonna let that sit a little bit more. I can tell the difference already. They're turning kind of like whitish. And I'll show you guys a, a little test spot. Uh, see if it comes up with my uh, fingernails. Should be ready to go soon. A few more minutes. All right, now we're at 1242. I'll show you guys a little test spot. So I did this one with my hand. Watch this. 
see that? It's old ceiling. Just that simple guys. <clears throat> you guys never see me doing on video, so I figure I figure I'll go ahead and uh, show you guys how it's done. So these are almost done. Starting to turn white around this area here. I'm gonna turbo nozzle everything off. Um but before I start turbo nozzling this stuff up, I'm gonna go ahead and spray this area and let that dwell as I'm cleaning this area here, all right? So that way the water doesn't touch that. You want to put it on dry pavers. Before I start, I'm going to get this on camera. I'm not sure what the heck that is on the wall. I didn't spray anything on there. <laughs> I always got to be cautious. section sprayed we're gonna let that sit right now we got 1247 we're gonna go ahead and uh, turbo nozzle this area now just want to take you guys along so you see exactly what I'm doing no corners nothing left out <laughs> sealer where it has sealer and where it doesn't sorry about that so if you look down here at the bottom section right there so you can see where the sealer is over here is rinse look at this white spot right here watch <laughs> Now we got this side here all rinsed out. You can see a major difference how the pavers look. We still gotta rinse this side here. Like I said, we started uh we spread them out 1247. So almost there. 1254. We can do a test for you guys just to see you know what we got. fingernail it's coming up but it's not quite ready I need to be a little bit softer so I'm gonna mist it with a little bit more product right, let's do another test Oh shoot, what? I'll tell you what. Fail um be careful because you're gonna be slipping sliding everywhere because the sealer and the chemical that removes it is very slippery. So look at this. Alright, she's ready to go guys. Um one more thing is depending on what they use, solvent or acrylic or whatever base sealer they use it may take longer than the 10 15 minutes that i'm, that I'm doing right now um, i might take you 20 to 30 depending on the sealer so don't quote my 10 my 10 is for this here i mean you can see the difference i'm trying to i'm walking i'm walking slow you can see the difference between the seal area and the strip area look at it look at the difference all right let's go ahead and strip this part 
Let's do a little stop, a little stoppage. All right, so this side right here is rinsed, stripped. This side is not. If you guys look, see all those shavings? That's old sealer right there. So this side right here, I haven't touched. You see how it's white and hazy? That still has sealer. All this side right here is already cleaned up. So you rinse everything real well. Make sure you get every inch. If you gotta go back over it one more time, it is what it is. Just go back over it if you missed a spot. section everything is stripped now we're just gonna have to let it dry of course under here is is covered so it's gonna take longer for it to get uh, some sun in here so we'll be back in the morning or maybe around this time tomorrow afternoon to uh, give it enough time to dry and then we're gonna add the polymeric sand the same kind of sand I used inside of here we will use out here so therefore it's gonna look the same all right, you guys, everything is cleaned. We're gonna come back tomorrow to seal it. Uh, getting a little overcast already. Uh, raining season in Florida, so every afternoon is gonna rain. So we're gonna try to take advantage of uh, some all day sunshine tomorrow to seal both places. All right, see you on the morning. All right, you guys, we're back in the morning now. We're gonna seal this first set of pavers that we cleaned yesterday. Uh, they're nice and dry. I'm uh, gonna apply some sand down and we're gonna be using the deco products silicast the green bucket to apply the sealer I'll be using the 4k bucket sprayer um, To apply the sealer itself So let's go ahead and uh, get these things sanded up and get the process going. It's nice and early. It's 9 9 30 right now. Let's get it First coat down, which is the flood coat. Make sure we get all in the joints to uh, lock the sand. You can already tell the color shifted. Sorry, the cage is in the way, so you got a shadow on it. But once it's done, I'll put some pictures up so you can see a before and after. So we're gonna let that sit. I normally give it about 30 minutes for the first coat. It's pretty hot outside, so should be ready to go after that. All right, so now we're gonna come back and uh, apply our second coat. We got 1047. We're gonna add our second coat now. She's ready to go. You can see it's nice and dry. Uh, 
nice and sealed up. You can see that shine off of there. These pavers don't emit too much light. A lot of the pavers, the you know, the less light they're gonna emit. If you got dark pavers, they're gonna pop more. If you look in here, so the pavers look closer to that color now before they were pale. This cage doesn't do me any justice in the way, so the customer's gonna send me some after pictures. Um, so I can do my before and after. I took my own, but he's gonna he's gonna take me some when the sun comes over the top. All right, you guys, we're gonna head to the second job. The sand and seal. The next job we cleaned up yesterday. Uh, polymeric sand will be used on that one. Dark sand, and uh, we're gonna be using the sand product, Deco Silicast. See you guys when I get there. All right, we're at the second one for the day. Finish up this one here. Uh, should be quick. Got the patio to do it. It was a nice and bone dry. All the sealer was stripped off of these pavers, so they have no gloss, no shine, nothing. I am gonna be using the leftover sand. This is the polymeric sand I'm using. Paver mate, polymeric sand. This is granite color, I, I believe. It's like a dark sand. pretty well on the inside rain safe in 10 minutes so we're gonna apply here uh, let's get going it's getting hot out here show you guys I um, go ahead and broom it one more time just to get the excess off of the top As you can see it's a lot of sand on top of the pavers I broom that before I blow it off I've only already done this side here see how the joints are looking on this one nice and clean so once I sweep it up one more time we're gonna go ahead and blow them off Seal using silicast, which is the green bucket for products. This is it right here. This is the website. I always keep me a bucket of uh, LA's Awesome or Pine Saw mixed with water, just a little bit, like like maybe an ounce, maybe to five gallons would be perfect. Uh, I just have it mixed to the side. This is what I flush my spray out with. So I'm, when I'm waiting for my second coat. In the meantime, I flush it out with this, just to make sure the pump doesn't clog up or the tip or the hose get clogged up. So always have your bucket laying to the side. All right, let's get our sealer on. I got the first coat down. Put the fan on to expedite the drying, drying process because it's underneath this patio. You can see this side is already drying up. 
getting that good color on there. All right, we're back. Can you hear my feet? <laughs> Still drying up, but it's good enough to add uh, second coat. I mean, these things are looking real good right now. We're gonna make them pop with that second coat. If you got these craters, these joints with some um, sealer sitting on it, you, know, you don't wanna leave it like that. You can use your blower, or sometimes what I do, I just grab a, a rag, a little bit of, you know, have it damp a little bit, and I just hit them up like this. That's if you're scared that it's gonna, you know, uh, cure white. Most likely they won't, but sometimes I just go ahead and just do it before I leave, just to make the customer at ease, because they're not sure that it's gonna go away. All right, guys, just add the second coat. Second coat down. You're gonna let that sit and uh, dry up some. I'm gonna go rinse my bucket out, my bucket spray out. All right, you guys, that's it. It's hot out here, man. This towel is wet. I don't even know I still got it. My stepmom got this towel with the pink flamingo on it. <laughs> anyway, let me show you guys the pavers. This is what it's looking like. Ooh. Now, my man Miracle Pressure Washer would say, Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Shout out to Miracle Pressure Washing, man. These papers came out great. I mean, you can see it. You can see the shine. Still drying up over here from the second coat, but you can see what's going to look like. Everything looks great. All right, guys, I'll, I hope y'all learned something today. If you did, make sure you like the video, leave a comment if you got any questions. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you haven't yet, Hit the bell so you know when I put up a new video. With that said, y'all enjoy the video. I'm gonna see y'all in the next one. Peace.